بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, so the next thing we'll try to see some of the logical explanations of some examples to understand the ACLs more better. Like whenever you see this statement, access list 101 means it is an extended ACL. Deny any any means it's going to match all the TCP protocols because I did not specify any TCP protocol here, any TCP service, and any source and destination means it's going to match all the TCP protocols from any source to any destination, which means inside the packet, all the TCP header packets will be matched from any source to any destination. So it's not going to check the source and destination addresses. And similar way, if you say UDP any any means, it's going to deny all the traffic. Of course, if I say permit here, it will be permit. When I say deny, it will be deny. So it matches all the packets of the UDP, means all the services uh, which are under UDP, like DNS, uh, whatever DHCP, all the services automatically come under that. And when I say ICMP means, it's going to match all the uh, all the ICMP messages or the control messages inside the ICMP protocol. Now, similar way, if you are writing, if I'm writing this way, then it's going to match IP. IP means all the protocols under the TCP IP. Means it includes all the TCP based protocols, UDP, as well as your ICMP protocols. So it's going to match all the protocols and of course all the services because if I'm not defining anything here means it it means that it includes all the services and from this source to this destination so basically from this source if it is going to this destination and it's going to deny because I'm saying deny it's going to deny all the protocols from this source to this destination and all the services will be denied okay so regardless of the header after the IP header means basically whether it is a TCP UDP whatever it is it will be denied now similar way if I'm writing the statement something like this so it's going to deny all the traffic which matches the UDP category now UDP category means again there is no specific service means all the UDP services which includes the DNS DHCP if you check the previous slides table probably you'll find all the UDP options, the commonly used services. And if it is going between this source, 1.1.1. network source, and if it is going to any destination. Okay, so you need to know the order. Generally, when you see this ACL statements, you should be in a position to figure out what exactly this ACL statement tells and what packets exactly it is going to match and what is the action it is going to take. Now, similar way, we got some more examples here. Like, uh, if I'm writing access is denied TCP, and you can see there is a port number 23, means it is going to match your telnet traffic under TCP. And if it is coming from, if it is destined to this host, this is my destination address, which means if someone is trying to telnet to 10.1.1.1 on port number 23, and the source can be any. So any source because we are writing any here and that source if it is using any port any port greater than 49151 now basically this means that any ports because normally we use uh, port numbers uh, from 0 to 6000 65000 535 and the default range from 0 to 1023 is for well known port numbers so well-known port numbers means like HTTP is port number 80, FTP is 21, Telnet is 23, like that. So we call them as well-known port numbers. And the port numbers from 1024 to 49151, uh, basically we call them as registered port numbers. So which means you can use any kind of uh, services. The same services can be hosted on other port numbers. And whereas the port numbers from 49, uh, uh, 49151, so of course I can say up to 50 or 49151. I think it's 51 and from from this range, uh, we use these port numbers generally for applications. So basically the applications randomly use uh, the port numbers, dynamically they reuse the port numbers in this range. Okay, so, so basically which means when you are initiating a telnet connection or uh, basically they use some kind of random port numbers, so I'm saying whatever the port number it is going to use. So even if you don't define, still, you know, 
it's okay means I'm saying any port number then we are going to deny the traffic a similar way there are other examples like if I'm writing this statement so it's going to match my telnet traffic and if it is coming from any source so any source source can be any and the destination is 10.1.1.1 it's going to deny so which means here now the basic difference between these two is this can be any port number and here a specific port ranges that's the only difference between these two statements and the next example again here you can see the same thing here deny tcp any host uh, basically this is the same thing there's no difference between these two so here the same example instead of writing the port number you can write telnet so both are same so the same example here the preceding the only difference is instead of using the exact port number i'm using the name as a telnet here now one more example here you can see uh, it matches the udp traffic and i did not uh, here i defined the specific ports here which means if this is the source so this is your source address if the source address is in the range of one dot network because of the wildcard mask here you can see and if it is going to any destination so destination can be any and if the source port number is less than 1023 which means less than 1023 means if it is a well-known port numbers then i'm going to deny so which means you want to deny all the traffic which is coming from selected source and if they're using this specific port numbers lesser than this and you, you are just denying the traffic okay so you need to know the way you write the acl so when you when you see this acl configurations you should be in a position to figure out okay this acl is going to match the traffic with this source and if if the port number is in this range less than 1023 then basically it to going to any destination it's going to do not okay the next thing we'll see uh, building the one line acl uh, statements like we'll take some requirement and then we'll see if you have this kind of requirement then how we are going to write the acl okay so let's see the first example here now in this first example let's say this is a requirement you have a web client with this address that's a web client and that is my source that's a client actually and this client is trying to access a server on this subnet so you have a server on this subnet so this is actually a complete subnet and it is a web service which means your http traffic okay so according to this we need to write down the source address so this is my source address so we write the source address here the first address will be always the source and the source is actually one single host so we are writing host space ip address and then the destination address now this is your destination address and destination is your subnet so we are going to write the subnet and he has given the slash 24 means the wildcard mask we need to calculate and write down and what is the service and the service is www which means your web service and this web service comes under tcp category and of course this can be anything so if the question says permit you have to say permit if the question says deny you have to say deny and of course the acl number can be anything in between 100 to 199 so this is one example on how to write uh, one line acl statements similar way we'll see a couple of more examples here like the next example is like we have a specific host from this source this is my source address slash 25 and sending to a telnet server to this subnet so this is my destination address so we need to figure out the this option so we have already seen this how to find the subnet mask if you take slash 25 slash 25 means it's going to be 255 255 255 128 because it is 8881 so if you want to find out the wildcard mask then it's going to be 0, .0, 0 dot from all 255s if you subtract it's going to be 0, .0, .0, 0 127 so again the same examples if you remember in the standard acl i have already covered multiple examples on how to calculate this so probably i'm not getting in those things right now so i'll directly jump into the answer here because i just explained this part the source address and the destination address here 
and then operator is equal to telnet okay and of course telnet comes under the tcp category and if the question says permit you have to say permit if the question says deny then we need to say deny now similar way if you want to match the icmp traffic like icmp traffic should be matched between these two subnets so this is my source and the same source we are writing here this is the source address and this is the destination address so the same destination address we are writing here and the question says icmp messages which means we are going to match the protocol icmp uh, in general here so likewise another example here you want to uh, match the traffic which is coming from this source and going to this destination so this is the source address here you can see in the syntax and the destination address here and the next thing is it has to match from the web server so which means the traffic is sourced from the web server web traffic so which means we are going to define the operator here beside the source so just remember this so it depends like if your destination is hosting the services then we write equal to www here but in my case we are initiating a traffic from the server if the traffic is initiated from the server and if it is a web traffic if it is going to any of these subnets that's going to deny so you can write either way as i said it all depends upon where what, what sources and what destinations you take so this is quite opposite to our example because in our example we have we have used this as a source and where we have services as destination but in this example it's not like this in this example it is just reverse this is source this is destination now likewise there are a couple of more examples here you can see um, again matching this specific source going to this destination again you'll find these addresses here and if it is matching the telnet service which means it's going to be port number 23 and of course the telnet comes under tcp category here so these are the four four main things we need to know the source address the destination address and then depending upon the service whether it is service is present towards the source side or the destination side we have to use the operators and then will be uh, and then of course the protocol category we need to define so these are the four parameters we need to keep in mind likewise the next example here the same thing source and destinations so this is your source and this is your destinations and it is a web traffic so equal to www matching this protocol so again the source is your client and the destination is your server so that's the reason the service is on the destination side here so if you compare the previous example in this one so there's a difference because the destination the servers as per our way of writing the acls we are using destination here on the server side in the previous example here the, it was the source again another example blocking the icmp traffic and of course if you want to match all the remaining traffic we simply say ip any any here 